next question comes from an anonymous person. It says from anonymous. Okay. Jim, neither one of us are fans of modern wrestling. The more I think about it, the more I think it may have something to do with wrestling becoming more liberal, along with the death of the territories and wrestling being overexposed. Think about it. Anyone could be a pro wrestler now. The violence is gone. The real man's man type like Murdoch and Hanson are all gone. We're likely only a few years away from a WWE transgender wrestler. In some ways, current wrestling represents the divide between right and left. Is pro wrestling now liberal? Thank you. Well, if it was, it would be good. Um, (laughs) Actually, you know, this is an interesting question because it's a classic case of being liberal where you should be conservative and conservative where you should be liberal. When it comes to, you know, uh, taking care of other people and seeing that justice is done in terms of the the banks and the big businesses not raping us and everybody having the right to conduct their business as they see fit and go about their lives and not be fucked with by these fucking cave people, then yes, we should be more liberal. But in terms of people just goddamn, you know, making a joke out of everything and doing silly bullshit and just everybody being a bunch of giggle fucking bunnies and just, yeah, because it's all fucking entertainment. Uh, we've gotten way too liberal and should have been uh, and aired on the side of being more conservative, which I've tried to do for the past uh, 10 or 15 years or so, because as everybody remembers when nobody in wrestling was funny, I was the one that was being funny. But it wasn't being funny, ha-ha, look at this phony shit I'm doing. It was being funny, ha-ha, look, I'm, I'm making wit- witty and cutting remarks about your fucking heroes, the classic example. You like fat jokes about ugly women unless that fat, ugly woman is your wife. Then you don't like it. Uh, then when everybody started trying to be funny and silly, then I went completely the opposite direction and tried to be as fucking evil and, and straight down the line prickish as I possibly could, and apparently that's worked. Um but no, I, I don't really see a correlation between politics and – I mean, well, when you think about – if we did have a transgender wrestler, just like Renee Richards, who was the transgender tennis player back in – I believe it was, it was the 70s by now. She was kicking the shit out of all the female tennis players, and there was a stink about it because why should basically um, – she had a man's – anatomy, physiognomy, whatever, biology, except for the changes that had been made. So, of course, she was going to beat the fuck out of all the female tennis players who were smaller and weaker and not as fast and not as muscle-bound and et cetera. And that wasn't really fair, but technically she was a woman, so she wasn't really going to be allowed to play with the, 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 uh, the men. So if you had a transgender wrestler, if they had gone from – Man to, I can't even believe we're talking about this. If we had gone from man to woman, (laughs) then she shouldn't be allowed to compete with the women because she would naturally beat the fuck out of the women. Because as we've mentioned before, this intergender wrestling bullshit. Yes, Ronda Rousey can kick the shit out of the guy that works down at Jiffy Lube. But if you're talking about matching trained professional athletes up against each other, even when there is a size comparison A man is going to beat a woman every time, unless there's a fluke, because of anatomy. It's not fucking open to debate. This is not a goddamn, you know, it's not, it's settled science. Men in combat sports, in contact sports, are stronger, bigger, put together better, more coordinated, etc. But women are put together and coordinated and anatomically more correct for sports that require finesse and poise and, and coordination and et cetera, such as did Olga Corbett got a fucking 10 in the goddamn Olympics. When's the last time you saw a guy on the fucking balance beam, get a fucking 10, whatever. This is settled science. Other people who have, uh, who are more involved in sports medicine can talk about it more intelligently than I can, but, So who would, and and if it was a a transgender wrestler that went from woman to man, then the guys would be kicking the shit out of her. So it, 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 I guess you would have to open up your own trans instead of an intergender wrestling league, a transgender wrestling league where everybody would be on the same footing. 
In, unless, unless these, unless these fucking goddamn goof fucking outlaw, stupid fucking indie wrestlers that wrestle their girlfriends or their wives or other girls and think there's nothing wrong with it and just like to get like Mark Merrow and Sable and, <laughs> and, and unless they just want their careers to be over with as, as being taken seriously as money drawing wrestlers. Then, you know, like the, like the guy that fucking looks like a half baked brown and serve roll covered in pubic hair. He, he gets beat by women all the time. And, and it may very well be a fucking shoot at this point, you know, because look at him, but you know, but no, this, it doesn't fucking fit. It doesn't work. And, and no, I don't think it, that, that we need to be, I don't think wrestling's gotten more liberal as much as wrestling's just gotten stupider.